I'm in Tick 4. Just about out of everything. Be out directly. Anything you want here? Show me what you got. Done deal. Working for Marcana used to be a life again. My daddy, my uncles. Sure, they saw some action, but they always came out whole. What's the point, kid? Just feels like I missed out on You see Frank when he go up? Golden age. Old bastard looked like he's aged 20 years. Twin Castro, a coon, and that 50 G's of bad paper inside? I can kind of see why. You see that? What the hell was that? Maybe I should look over there. Listen here, asshole. I want you to close your goddamn mouth and open your fucking ears. What we got ain't money. It's toilet paper. So unless you got the shits from your mama's bed cooking, there ain't nothing here for you.
I'm at the harbor. Get some guns on these assholes. Of course. Be there soon. Before you get Did anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy, Ellis, and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. My boys got one of the rackets locked down, and part of our job there is to get the lay of the land, a feel for the folks who live there. Would be quite a shame to throw all that away. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit, and let's get to work. When you finish listening to the Who's Got the Bigger Pecker contest, I'll be here ready to take over this part of the city. Don't leave me with blue balls, her boy. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. What's the word, Lincoln? You and me, we have an understanding, right? Make the right choice here and I'll whip up some... You know I can handle this. Never an easy answer, trust me, I know.
So what's it gonna be, Chief? Don't let some white boy rush you. Take your time. I trust you to make the right choice here, Lincoln. Get on with it. This one's all you, Bert. We ain't your private army sitting around waiting to lock shit down when you need us. We got expectations. Expectations that you are sadly falling short of. Can't wait to get started on her, on everyone that comes after her as well. So are we done here? We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.
Let me know if you need anything else, shall we? Pearly used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the Invisibles, Noah. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution, fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigga. A nigga part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood, the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. And don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. We ain't there yet.
Hello there, young... You Purdue? Grant Purdue. You like the place? I'm thinking... Yeah, so how are you mixed up with Marcano's organization? Friend, I own and run department stores. But with this economy, well, I've got a lot of extra inventory, clothes, electronics, you name it. An old friend, Artie Higgins, says to me, Grant, it's all insured. Let me take it off your hands. You mean you let him rob you? My trucks, yeah. It was just supposed to be a one-time deal, but heck, Artie just won't stop. I can't take the fall here. Where's Artie take the trucks? He never told me, but last time we talked, I got the impression he was going to offload them to someone else. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 fans? Grant, if I find your stuff, it's likely going up in flames. Well, whatever you have to do to stop Artie. My gosh darn insurance has dropped me. Says I'm high risk. Can you believe that? <sighs> you bring me that truck, there's money in it for you. Artie's got some of his men working around South Downs. Thieves, all of them. I'll see what I can dig up. In the meantime, you stay out of sight. I think you should see what Artie's guys know about my trucks.
coming through. I'm right here, dummy. We know each other? Huh. You're sweet Danny Little. <laughs> you follow boxing? Some. A friend who worked for my old man was obsessed. Said you go to distance. You got that championship match coming up, right? Yeah, that's kind of why I need your help. These Marcano cats. Man, they got this dude called Two Dicks Peralta running a sports book out the Wilcox Saloon. Comes up to me while I'm spying. Tells me I gotta go down in the fifth. Or else. What'd you say? She told him kiss my ass. Next day, somebody broke my brother's arm in three places. You all right? It's how they do. I hear two dicks even grabbed with that boy Eddie Kenner. Except I think two dicks got his eye on Eddie doing some off-book fighting for him. You hear things about nigga fights here and there. Make a lot of money if you know how those fights go in. Christ. I'll go after two dicks people, see if I can find out more about how he runs things, maybe even find Eddie. Start talking to Peralta's people if you want to know what he's up to. Anybody to hit this target in South Downs? You got it. We'll be around shortly. Down before you get there! What? Was that him? would never do such a thing.
I need a vehicle in South Downs. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. Watch your ass on the way out. We got anybody to hit this target in South Downs? Of course. Be there soon. Let's just keep looking. Good morning. Listen, 
too much. We got anybody to hit this target in South Downs? Enough said. On our way. You don't buy it? I got ten guys who will. I'm not sure that's a fair price. The fellas say you should, uh... I'm in South Downs and I need to make a deal. Oh, God. Gonna need a new vehicle in South Downs. Oh, not a lot. Just getting her warmed up. <laughs> Big mistake, asshole. Look what the cat bug is. Got a truck for Lincoln Clay. Thanks. Watch your ass on the way out. Warming him up. Your time is up, motherfucker. Thank <laughs> you. 
patrol unit. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. I'm staying here. So what can I do for you?
stuff out of the game? I'll ignore him. Y'all come on over this weekend. We'll be glad to have you. You don't look like police, son. You gotta get yours. Look who I found. Get your heads down. How's it going? know about Artie's hijacking racket. The boss had a huge haul he's been planning to sell off. I know where it's gonna go down. You work for me now.
I need some covering fire in South Downs. Of course. Be there soon. Ah! 